Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my June favorites with you and my July intentions as well. So just a little explanation if you didn't see my previous video, I love sharing my favorite new products with you all, but I also add intentions onto the end because I want to inspire you all to make a positive change in your life and to proactively better yourself as well. So let's get started. So my first favorite for the month of June is this thing called Flux. It's not really an app because it's not something you play with, but you download it to your computer and it's completely free, which I thought was really awesome. So the thing that the app does is it simulates your computer screen to match the sunrise and sunset of the area that you're living in. So computer screens are normally designed to look like the sunlight, so it's more of a harsher, cool sort of blue light. But like Flux's website says, at night this can be sort of problematic because after the sun sets, you're really not designed to be looking at the sun. So looking at a brighter computer screen could actually cause you to stay awake later at night and sort of disturb your sleep patterns as well. So what the app does is it mimics sunlight during the day, but then as the sun is setting, it makes the screen of the computer warmer to mimic more natural indoor lighting, which supposedly helps you fall asleep faster. I just think it's a really neat idea Idea, and I've really been enjoying using it and I do notice that the computer screen does look a lot less harsh at night Which is definitely easier on my eyes. Oh, and like always we'll have links for everything in the description of this video If you're interested in checking it out So my next favorite product is by a brand called truly organic and it's their lotion I've seen a few youtubers and Instagrammers talk about this brand and just an FYI I bought this with my own money. I did use a discount code though. I'm not gonna lie But the brand itself is really cool it's 100% vegan, it's not tested on animals, and they use very minimally processed products. So everything comes from a plant, essentially. So I bought two shampoos, a conditioner, and a lotion from them, and I've really been enjoying all of them, actually. I have been using the shampoos, and I've definitely noticed that my hair is a lot shinier and softer. Um, but this lotion in particular is my favorite because it smells absolutely amazing. I almost just want to like put it on all the time, but I don't want to like overhydrate my skin. But this brand itself is really cool. It's all vegan, cruelty free, and it's so natural for you. Like they put the main ingredients of the product on the front of the bottle. So this one you can see it has coconut, acai, dragon fruit, lavender, and African coconut. African cucumber, sorry, I can't read through the screen. But yeah, no, it's really cool. All the ingredients are super natural and it really does work. And sometimes I think we forget about the amount of chemicals that we're putting onto our bodies, especially with like drugstore lotions and cheaper products like that. So I think this is a great alternative. Okay, so my next favorite for the month is kind of unusual for me because I don't wear makeup too much, but it's this makeup brush kit from Vanity Planet. And the thing I really like about this is that it is 100% vegan. And I know what you're thinking, hold up, Caitlin, that looks like leather. But actually, I think it's super cool. This is not made from leather, it's made from lychees. And I don't know if you all know what a lychee is. And luckily enough, I actually bought some lychees yesterday so I can show you. So these are lychees. See, they're like pink and kind of spiky. And this is the case, but like it literally looks like leather and it's so soft. And I just think that that is so cool. Okay, anyways, but what's inside the case is actually my favorite. And it's this, well, this is why I am not a beauty guru, guys. It's this brush kit. And I think there's about like 15 different brushes and they're all super soft and I like how the smaller ones come in a variety of sizes So I can be more precise about when I'm applying my makeup and they also have like little travel pouches for the big ones I just keep it in the back But yeah, I've been using these to apply my makeup these past few days and I do really like them This contour brush um, for bronzer is definitely my favorite But yeah, I definitely appreciate that these brushes are cruelty free because a lot of makeup brushes use horse hair or other animal hair and that's definitely not vegan and also definitely not cruelty free and I think they're really cute too like I like the wooden handle it looks more natural and goes with my like hippie vibes so if you're interested in getting these I actually have a discount code for these and you can get I think it's like 70% off and they're only like 30 bucks, which is a really good deal for makeup brushes. I do have one food related favorite for the month, and if you all watched my Aldi grocery haul, you'll know that I got this there, and it's this red sauerkraut. It says it's red cabbage with apples, and people were saying I think it's like rot kraut, so it's like a less 
intense sauerkraut and it's a little sweeter but yeah i got this at aldi and it was only 25 cents and it's so delicious i love sauerkraut and now i need to figure out how to make this for myself because guys i bought this like two or three weeks i think like three weeks ago and there's like one serving left i don't even know where it all went and for those of you who don't know sauerkraut is also really good for your digestive health because it's a fermented food so this past month i also tried to focus more on probiotic foods and i would either have like this or some kombucha almost every day and i do think it helps my digestion a little but honestly it's just really delicious as well so that's mostly the reason why i ate it so my fifth and final favorite for the month is a little bit out there but it's the fact that i finally cleaned all of my necklaces and this may sound really weird but guys i don't know why one of my pet peeves is when your necklaces get tangled together and you have to untangle them like i don't know what is wrong with my body but when i'm concentrating that intently on untangling the necklaces i like forget to breathe and so i just never do it and i hate it and when i look back at home i'd always ask my mom to do it for me but unfortunately my mom is several 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 hours away from me at the moment and when i moved into this apartment in miami like back in the beginning of may guys um, my necklaces got all tangled and they were just literally sitting on my desk in a pile but this past week i finally bit the bullet and untangled them all and i have them all hanging on this actually it's a window shutter that i got from my thrift store and i just put some nails in and i just think it looks really cool and it's kind of like a cool feature area of my room as well and i'm just really happy that i can finally wear all of my necklaces and i don't have to see the bundle on my desk anymore Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my intentions for the month of July. And my first intention is going to be really hard, and I'm probably not going to be able to do it every day, but I'm really going to try my hardest, and it's to stop using electronics half an hour before you go to sleep. So I've really noticed that I spend way too much time on my phone or online, and staring at screens definitely takes a toll on your eyes and your sleeping habits as well. So I think that it's really important to relax and sort of de-stress and get rid of all the electronics and like flashy distractions before you go to bed in order to get a better night's sleep so for 30 minutes before i go to bed i'm going to try to look at no electronic screens and just read a book or do some coloring or study just not on my computer and see if that affects my sleeping schedule and then my second intention for the month is to read a book when i was a kid growing up I love to read. Like I will go through Nancy Drew books and Boxcar Children books and sci-fi novels like there was no tomorrow. My nose was always in a book and because of that I think I developed a really good vocabulary and I can actually read really fast. So I'm really thankful that I read a lot as a kid. However, ever since I started going to high school and college when you're actually assigned books to read for English or like in college and now in graduate school when I have to read textbooks, you spend so much time reading and studying those that I almost feel like you're less motivated to read other books in your free time however i want to get back into it so it is my intention for this month to read a book and hopefully that will start a healthy habit of me reading again and now that i think of it this actually ties in really well with my other intention so in the 30 minutes before bed maybe i can read my book but if you all have any book suggestions or any cool books that you just read let me know in the comments below and i'd definitely be interested in checking those out and one other final small tangent, if any of you all remember from my last favorites video, one of my favorites of the month was this little baby plant that I just grew. And I just wanted to let you all know that I have not killed him yet and he's doing a great job. So I'm not going to lie, we did have a close call and I almost lost him because a whiteout dispenser somehow fell into the pot when I was at school and crushed him and it almost broke his stem and I thought it was the end, but he survived. He's getting a little tall though, so I just used a pencil and some string to sort of prop him up. And it was also to help fix his battle wound. So like always, thank you all so much for watching. And now I want you all to tell me one favorite you've had for the month of June and one intention that you're going to set for yourself for the month of July in the comments below. And I'll try to get back to all of them. I always think it's interesting to learn more about you guys and get to know you a little better. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my favorite, oh man, what month is it? <laughs> it's June. Okay, so it's my June favorites in July.